It's possible. But surely the real King Arthur should be a homegrown hero who made his name fighting in England rather than France. Graham Phillips is inclined to agree. And he believes that you don't have to look across the sea to find proof of Arthur. It's all in the name. For that reason, he's placing his bets on a 5th century king who may have ruled over one of the last British-controlled cities of the time. Now, during Roman times, the four most important cities in the country were London, Lincoln, York, and another one called Viraconium. London, Lincoln, and York all fell to the barbarian onslaught, leaving Viraconium as the last city stronghold of the Britons. The question is, who ruled from Viraconium? Graham began to look through the genealogies, and we know from these that the man who ruled from Viraconium around 500 AD was named Owen Thanguin. At first, this seemed to be a dead end. King Arthur and King Owen were surely not one and the same. But what was interesting is many British warriors at this time adopted the names of animals that somehow uh, represented their prowess in battle. There was the hound, the fox, and so This man, Owen Thanguin, seems to have been called the bear. At first, the connection isn't obvious, but a quick analysis of modern Welsh descended from the ancient language of the Britons reveals a surprising coincidence. The Welsh word for bear is arth, and the Latin word is ursus. Together, they offer an intriguing clue. And so you may have had a shortening of arthursus, becoming Arthur. Little remains of the city of Viraconium. But the bear may have a legend of a different kind. Legend refers to King Arthur as the once and future king, meaning he will one day reclaim the throne. That may just be another fanciful piece of the legend, but what if it's an important clue of the genealogical kind? Graham dug a little deeper. But we're very lucky in the case of Owen Thanguin, because we know from the genealogies he had a son. That son's descendants eventually married into another prominent medieval family. And their direct descendants were the Spencer family. And the Spencers produced one of the most famous royals of recent memory, Princess Diana. And of course, her son, William, is second in line to the British throne which means that if the bear was the real King Arthur, Diana's son, Prince William, would be his direct descendant. And the interesting thing is, his middle name is Arthur. 